today. I think for today I'm going to work on the uh, the hair fringe on his shirt. And I'm going to make it out of wax. Victory Brown wax. That's uh, what I got here. You can buy Victory Brown, I think, from just about any art foundry because they use it uh, in the foundry. I think while I'm waiting for that to warm up, I'm going to go ahead and... Ah, can't get my foot around the thing. I'm going to be moving back to my studio away from the house the end of April. So I don't have to listen to this heater anymore. Yeah, I got I'm using J Mac clay. It's a plastiline type clay. It does not harden. My intention is to have my clay molded and uh, cast into bronze. I've got a serrated edge on this uh, sculpting tool. It just gives a nice little texture to uh, the clay. Makes it look sculptural, doesn't make it look uh, overly uh, smooth. I like different textures for different uh, parts of clothing and uh, mm. items. It just adds to the uh, sculptural quality. Uh, a uncle of mine, who uh, is one of the top sculptors in the country as far as I'm concerned, mm. <coughs> is a master of texture. Yeah. Now I wish I could tell you you could buy these tools, but uh, She's retooling. She used to make these by hand, and uh, so she hasn't got them ready yet for sale. And it's just a great little tool. It's like having a special little finger that doesn't stick to clay. He's got teeth inside his mouth. Let's see if I can get my light down here. Yeah, there we go. I know the light is a little direct. Doesn't shade it very well, but I want to emphasize the teeth a little bit. You don't want to make teeth look... Uh, Perfect. But you do, if you want to have his mouth open, you gotta kind of indicate teeth. even more natural. There we go. That doesn't look too bad. Okay. I'm going to uh, attempt to show you how I make hair fringe. I'm using the wax. I know it's going to be hard to see it. Let me get this back a little bit. There we go. Now, I take the wax. I put it under a 100 watt bulb. It uh, softens it up to where I can uh, work with it. 
so it'll, it's like when I make hair, I do the same thing with the, uh, the fringe. I make it a little thinner because they'd be thin streams of hair. And it's called a scalp shirt, but uh, these are not scalps. Uh, I'm not sure of the exact story. Uh, when somebody was given a uh, authority to over the tribe, uh, they would be awarded a hair shirt. And uh, Crazy Horse was a hair shirt owner, but he had it taken away because uh, he messed around with somebody else's wife and dishonored himself. So what I do is I get the the wax right on the edge, the sharp edge of this cutting board, and I press down and I roll it. And I try to uh, make it look like it's got a wrap at the top of the hair. Like a twine or something like that, or cloth. And then I just uh, Let's see, go that way. And what I do is I just roll it on the edge, let it, the edge cut into it as I'm rolling, and that makes it look like it's been wrapped. I know you can't see that, but that's what I do. And then I take my finger and I just go down the uh, hair to give it kind of a wavy hair texture to it. I'll do the same on the other side too. Not so hard. But just just enough to make it, you know, look like hair. And I twist it a little bit to uh, give it that uh, quality. And then, I attach it to the shirt. Now, I know it's darker than the clay, and it's a little confusing, but I will, at uh, some point, paint this uh, wax to look like uh, clay. Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, as you can see I've got the uh, fringe 
uh, from the center there down to the bottom of this uh, line of uh, beadwork. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the camera now and continue back here. Well, that's as far as I'm going to get today. I started out too late this afternoon. But uh, I think it's going to look pretty good. I think what I'm going to do. Well, not today. All right. Good night, everybody, and I'll see you next time.